Yeah, I'm uh, Duncan Meeting. I'm a designer and maker of uh, lights and furniture. Um, and I'm based in Hobart, Tasmania. And uh, much of my work concentrates on overall form rather than intense detailing. And, um, and it also concentrates a lot on, on light um, bursting um, from, from the side. And that's um, partly a result of the fact that I've only got uh, less than 5% vision concentrated around the peripheral fields. I suppose I've had a few turning points and a lot of them do revolve around sort of community um, and community of design and community of, um, of artists and, and I think that's one of the really strong things that Tasmania has is a lot of very strong strong um, sense of community within the design field and within the art field and I've, on that front I, one of my big turning points was I got a scholarship to a um, a designer or artist, or practitioner-led organisation, um, which uh, it's called Designed Objects Tasmania, and, and that, that scholarship was called the Springboard, and that was sort of mid 2010, straight after I graduated at university, and that that gave me um, a bit of a launching platform into um, designing and, and, and making, and um, after, um, after my university studies. But with you know, without that sort of um, launching board, I probably would, may not have necessarily even started on, uh, as a professional. Um, in, in the field. When I make work, I, I feel sometimes frustrated, but I think everybody does, but um, sometimes I get from that frustration then leads on to pro the problem solving that's, that, that's in, involved in, in working it out. That challenge that people get, like you, it's something that people really, in, I think that's part of, that's the, that's the sort of feeling that a lot of people um, uh, stay, stay in the visual arts for, stay in design for. So it's, you know, getting the problem going, how do I execute it? And, it, you know, it's not just sort of like, um, um, it's not just the, the end product, it's, it's the process of getting there. And, um, and, and it's sort of a sense of fulfilment, not, not just the actual end product, but the actual process. And I suppose a lot of my design is very process driven as well. Um, partly because I, I, the way I design is often in a very three-dimensional way, um, model making, and then go, and then I go back to somebody with the skills of drafting to help me work out how to potentially execute it without um, this, the the making skill set that I may have might need to be done using a computerized machine or something. So I have to engage someone else to draw. So it's very process driven because I'm trying to work out stuff in the in real world with some bit, either mock-ups or models or. Um, or, or just playing around with some samples and then taking it back to, you know, so it's sort of a different way of designing because my, my main medium is, um, is very process driven. Some people refer to um, mistakes as not mistakes but design alterations. Um, and, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's a bit of a uh, cheeky way of saying something but it's also kind of the truth. It's like, and it's one of the more successful designs that I've had came out, out, out as a result of the timber doing the opposite of what I thought it was going to do. Or, um, you know, just through playing and, and through going, okay, this isn't going to work. But then also realising I walk away from it for a while, go, okay, think about it for a while and then come back to it. And that's what I did with that particular design. So, you know, be able, take a bit of space from it if you can um, and then work out a way to sort of problem solve. But, you know, the, the problem solving is probably one of the things I think a lot of designer makers really thrive on because it's like, um, it's, 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 it's that, that process I was talking about that people really, um, really enjoy. And, but, you know, that, that process does also involve failure. And, um, you know, that from that failure, you can then grow, grow, grow creatively um, and grow in terms of your skill set as well.